Hey guys, I'm Bellon. I'm an enduro video creator from Sweden. I mostly make uh, videos from races like the Swedish Enduro Championship and Gotland Grand National and Battle of Vikings. But uh, to be able to grow, I've made the decision to start making more international movies. I was recently in Finland at the Sisu Extreme Enduro and before that I was in uh, Austria for the Erzberg Rodeo where I made uh, daily videos from the race and uh, daily vlogs in Swedish but with interviews in English. To reach a wider audience I've decided to do all my vlogs in all English so everyone understands because a lot of people watch my interviews but they didn't understand what was said in between. Right now I'm in uh, Kemer, Turkey for the Sea to Sky race and I'm here with the 10 time Swedish trial champion and one time European trial champion Eddie Karlsson. He and I will work together and post as I said earlier daily videos so you will see him ride every day with my GoPro and I will do my best to post the videos the same day. Eddie was last seen winning the Swedish Battle of Vikings and he was also at Red Bull Abelstone where he finished fourth on the straight rhythm race, the prologue, and he finished ninth on the main race day, which is amazing since he's a privateer and doesn't ride the Hard Enduro World Championship, but he was still up there with the top riders of the world. So I will follow him with as much as I can with my camera and uh, we will film as much as we can with uh, my GoPro as well. Sea to Sky is a four day race and Eddie will ride with my uh, GoPro all days and we will post the videos on uh, Bellon on YouTube. Today it's Tuesday and I'm on my way to the press conference. I got to my hotel at 4.30 a.m. this morning, so I haven't been sleeping much. Uh, it's now uh, a little bit before 10 in the morning. And they are gonna do a little press conference and hopefully I can do some interviews with some of the top riders. So I finally found him, the legend, the Graham Jarvis. How are you? Yeah, really good. Happy to be back in Turkey, the sea to sky. It's always a cool race. Yeah. Sun shining. Yeah. It's been a bit of rain, but hopefully it'll be dry for the race. Have you been out uh, looking at the track? No, we go up the mountain to the top now. We just check the last part of the track, but other than that, we don't really look at it. Oh, okay. And how many times have you been here? Been here since the first race, uh, whenever that was. Yeah. Probably 10 years ago. Or yeah. Now. You have a couple of wins here. Yeah, I've won it a few times, yeah. so, but you know, getting older, a lot of young riders coming in. Yeah. It's got a really good entry, so it's, it's always a close race, so it's going to be, you know, that last part of the race is important. Gets obviously gradually more difficult, the top bit's the most difficult part. Yeah, but you still got it in you. You won uh, the Romaniacs a couple yeah, of weeks still, ago. Still in there fighting, still in with a chance, yeah. just keep working, having fun. Yeah. And then, you know, if it goes good on the day, I'm still capable of winning. Yeah, of course. And uh, do you want to comment on your uh, Erzberg Rodeo race? I was uh, trying yeah, to meet a little bit of bad luck this year. But obviously, one Romaniac, but Erzberg just cost me a, a lot of points. But still yeah. got third in the championship. So, but you know, just strange things always happen at Erzberg. Yeah. But uh, do you think that you received outside help? I mean, it was Dariosh who helped you, right? Yeah, that's it. So, it's not know, really outside help. No, not exactly, but you know, that's how it goes. Yeah, it was like your second or third time with disqualified at Erzberg? Yeah, before you know, I've missed track and got lost a little bit and I've yeah. been disqualified. So, but I still enjoyed the race. You know, I started behind everybody. 499 riders yeah. and up to temp, so it was, yeah. good. it was a different experience yeah. passing the riders, but they were cool, they, you know, some riders helped me and yeah. it was all good, they let me pass. Yeah, I, uh, I missed all the, uh, the top riders at uh, Karls Dinner, but I was waiting for my friend Magnus Thor, also a Husqvarna rider, and, uh, and then I saw you, so I made a, a video about you and you made it look so easy. Is yeah. that your uh, favorite part of the That's track? That's normally where I can gain a bit of time, yeah, yeah. I like obviously Charles background I like the rocky section that's yeah where it's you know that's where it's won or lost in Carl's diners so. yeah yeah some people they spend like an hour there and you with there like 10 minutes yeah it's incredibly physical you know it's 
a couple of kilometers long, just yeah. constant drop, drop, drop. drop. Yeah. So, it looks so difficult. Yeah, did, Fitness uh, is a major part of it in there if you've, yeah. if you've got, and you know, not to have any problems. It's such an intense race if you have problems, and you know, just a couple of crashes can sap your energy. So, just keeping a clear run is important. Yeah. And how do you keep your uh, energy for so many days? I mean, this race is uh, four days. Yeah, just try and stay on top of the fitness, you know, have a good rest before the race, yeah. come out with full energy. Drink a lot of water because it's stay really Stay hydrated here. as well, yeah. yeah. Just eat good. But, uh, it's amazing out. weather here and it's only in the morning now, it will get a lot hotter. It's going to get hotter later, but it cools off up the mountain, that thing here, yeah. higher up you get, it cools off, so yeah, that's it's not good. so bad. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks a lot and good luck. Thank you, see you later. See ya. After the press conference, there's really not much happening so i'm gonna walk around camera and see what it looks like it's my first time here so it will be interesting i have to find out how everything works how to get to the track each day as i said it's a four day race and on wednesday we have the beach race on thursday it's the forest race on friday it's the sky race and then on saturday it's the main race which is called Olympus mountain race and they will be riding all day every day so it's gonna be long days the shuttle bus leaves at 8 or 9 or something like that it's uh, different from day to day and we get back at 3 or 4 p.m. so it's very long days out there filming and then I have to edit everything also so so if you want daily videos both from my GoPro with uh, Eddie Carlson and from my handheld camera from the races each day make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button down there and also leave a comment with uh, what you want to see more of and I'll pay attention to that during these days take care and see you guys at the race Thank you.